glossy body finish, chrome trims, a large hexagonal headlight, 12-inch wheels with white wall tires, and a large faux leather seat. It looks like the Mojito by Spain's Next Electric Motors has everything to attract the fans of vintage-style transport. The power comes from a brushless permanent magnet motor with 3.5 kilowatts of nominal and 4.6 kilowatts of peak output. At full throttle, this model can reach speeds up to 62 miles per hour. Being significantly faster than an average city scooter, the Mojito received quite capable dual piston brakes with floating calipers, as well as 220 mm rotors in the front and 180 mm rotors in the rear. In its base configuration, the scooter comes with a single 72 volt 40 amp hour battery pack. It is removable and could be taken out of the scooter for an in house charging session that usually lasts for two hours. Depending on how you configure the scooter, it's powered by one or two detachable lithium batteries. Each battery weighs close to 53 pounds, so getting it in and out of the scooter could be quite a workout. On the bright side, one full charge gets you up to 60 miles of continuous riding. Moreover, you can purchase the second battery pack separately and extend your range autonomy to 120 miles. Despite operating on the Spanish market, the Ebro company decided to develop an e-scooter with a design greatly inspired by traditional Italian scooters of the late 1940s. The model is offered in three body colors with glossy paint finishes, has a hexagonal headlight, and decorative chrome details. In terms of performance, the two-wheeler utilizes a rear hub motor with 4.7 kilowatt output rating, 50 mile per hour top speed, and 15 degree hill climbing capabilities. Veracruz is rolling on a set of 12-inch wheels with tubeless tires and hydraulic disc brakes with CBS. As for the battery setup, this retro scooter could be equipped with either one or two 72-volt, 20-amp-hour battery packs. The manufacturer suggests that two batteries can provide up to 50 miles of continuous riding. However, it is unclear which of the three available power modes was engaged during this range calculation. Since the batteries are removable, you can recharge them from the comfort of your home. Each module weighs 27.5 pounds and takes from four to six hours to be topped up. EMGO Technology is a Ukrainian research and development center that is planning on bringing fairly priced electric vehicles to the international market. They're already known for their electric scrambler motorcycle and have recently added a two-seater electric scooter to the model lineup. This new scooter model received a striking retro-inspired design and will be equipped with an 8-kilowatt electric motor. This motor unit will grant you the top speed capabilities of 55 miles per hour. It is also capable of recovering some of the energy and charging the battery on the go by means of an onboard recuperation system. The battery technology that is used in this scooter is said to provide at least 8,000 recharging cycles without any loss of capacity. It will also be able to hold charge well when operating in sub-zero weather conditions. One full battery charge will provide the riding thrills for up to 93 miles. When it comes to the charging process, this e-scooter model supports a variety of options including home charging as well as CCS-2 high-speed stations. The most powerful charging option can top the battery up to 90% in just 45 minutes. Pink Mobility is a young electric urban mobility company that operates on the European market, in particular in France, where Pink Mobility scooters are eligible for government EV subsidies. At the moment, the brand lineup has not one but two electric scooters with retro-inspired designs. Pink Pop has a neo-retro look with smooth body curves, a rounded LED headlight, bright exterior colors, and decorative stripes. If you have a more conservative taste in scooters, then the pink style model may be your go-to option, since this model gives off traditional Italian scooter vibes. Exterior differences aside, both models are powered by the same 3-kilowatt rear hub motor. At full throttle, this motor can push out 6 kilowatts of output, offering performance capabilities comparable to the 125cc class. The motor has four performance settings – Eco, Comfort, 
Sport, and Reverse. The most potent sport setting unlocks the 53 mile per hour top speed capabilities. These two wheelers tip the scales at 240 pounds with a 72 volt, 29 amp hour battery pack installed. With this battery specification, you can expect up to 75 miles of riding in the Eco mode or up to 50 miles when the Sport mode is activated. Regardless of the classic looks, both models don't shy away from using such modern features as full LED lighting, a digital instrument cluster for displaying the most important performance metrics, and a fast charger that can get the battery to 80% in 3 hours. If you're a fan of classic Italian scooters, then you should check out the product developed by the London-based Retrospective Scooters Company. Unlike some modern manufacturers that only replicate the classic retro looks with low-quality plastic components, Retrospective Scooters restore original Vespa and Lambretta scooters from the past century. They swap out the original, worn-out internal combustion engines and replace them with brand-new, all-electric powertrains. Besides a powertrain upgrade, you're also getting a host of modern features like LED lights and anti-theft protection. Most Italian retro scooters can be fitted with a 4-kilowatt electric hub motor. However, the number and capacity of the installed battery packs would depend on the amount of remaining frame space. Large frame Vespa models can hold two 72-volt, 35-amp-hour battery packs, good for up to 80 miles of riding. However, smaller frame models would be limited to only one 64-volt, 26-amp-hour units and 25 miles of real-world range at speeds up to 65 miles per hour. The batteries are completely removable and need about three and a half hours to restore the full charge. Finally, if you feel like taking on a challenge of converting your old scooter to electric power by yourself, Retrospective Scooters are also selling conversion kits that include all required components, cables, gauges, and switches. Wow E-Scooter 775 is an Italian, battery-powered scooter with performance characteristics corresponding to the L3E category. Its synchronous and brushless motor generates 4 kilowatts of continuous and 5 kilowatts of peak output. The generated power is transferred to the rear wheel via a belt drive. When combined with a 72-volt, 42-amp-hour battery, this scooter lets you ride for up to 60 miles between charges. The maximum permitted speed for this two-seater scooter is 55 miles per hour. The model has a 36mm suspension fork in the front and a mono shock absorber in the rear. The stopping power comes courtesy of a combined braking system with 220mm discs. It should also be noted that this electric two-wheeler is equipped with regenerative braking technology, so excess kinetic energy could be used to charge the battery. Speaking of charging, this process would take 4 hours if you use the proprietary 10-amp battery charger. During this year's Milan Motor Show, WOW eScooter has announced a series of upcoming upgrades to their Scooter 2023 range. The brand's newest model, WOW eScooter 778, will receive a new 60 amp hour battery pack with 70 miles of estimated range, a more powerful 8 kilowatt electric motor, and a sportier suspension setup. With this motor upgrade, you can expect the top speed to race to 60 miles per hour. For the upcoming model year, Schwalbe, a German manufacturer of classic scooters, has updated the electrified version of their iconic e Schwalbe model. The newcomer still features an elegant exterior design and comes in two distinctive colors, yellow and white. Considering that this scooter is intended for the urban use where small scratches and dents are a common thing, the body panels of e Schwalbe are made of highly durable, wear-resistant plastic. The model is equipped with bright LED lights and an elongated seat that has room for two. Underneath the seat, you'll find two battery slots and a storage unit with five liters of capacity. German engineers equipped this personal mobility vehicle with an in-hub three-phase motor. This 48-volt unit has the nominal output rating of 2.2 kilowatts, while its peak capabilities reach 4 kilowatts. Such motor specifications guarantee zippy acceleration from the start. However, the manufacturer restricted the top speed to 28 miles per hour, so this model could qualify for the L1E class. 
Despite the limited top speed, there are powerful hydraulic disc brakes both at the front and rear to ensure reliable stopping power for this 300-pound machine. The standard single battery setup gives you up to 30 miles of non-stop riding, while a dual battery configuration is good for up to 60 miles of range. The estimated range as well as other important performance metrics could be looked up on a full-color TFT display. Once completely out of juice, you'll need up to 5 hours to charge one battery or 8.5 hours to bring a dual battery setup to 100% charge. Steel Ride 1 is an upcoming electric two-wheeler developed by a Swedish startup that bears the same name. Even though the scooter has a step-through frame with geometry similar to that of a scooter, the manufacturer stubbornly refers to their creation as a mini motorcycle. After reading Steel Ride's official press release, we got an impression that the frame is regarded as the most high-tech component of this scooter, since its creation involves the use of the specially developed steel fold technology. Described as industrial origami, this technology uses metal bending instead of welding, thus producing a more rigid frame structure. In terms of performance, this scooter-like motorcycle relies on a PMSM hub motor with integrated controller and regen braking technology. The motor's nominal output is rated at 6 kilowatts, while the torque parameter is set at 155 pound-feet. In order to achieve 60 mile per hour speed capabilities and 75 mile range estimations, this two-wheeler was equipped with a 51-volt battery pack with 5.1 kilowatt-hours of capacity. The battery is supplied with a 1,200-watt off-board charger that could full-juice up the battery in four hours. Steel Ride 1 offers 5.5 inches of ground clearance and is suspended by an upside-down front fork and a single rear shock absorber with a multi-link system. Italy is home to a large variety of motorcycle and scooter manufacturers. However, we have to admit that they are still not treating the transition to all-electric power seriously. None of the big names have an all-electric motorcycle in their lineups, but it seems that MV Agusta wants to become the first to change the situation. Still, it looks like MV Agusta are playing it safe and are working on a smaller e-scooter instead of a traditional motorcycle. This Italian motorcycle brand has recently collaborated with Kimco, a Taiwanese motorcycle manufacturer that has raked up some experience in developing battery-powered scooters over the past years. The joint cooperation between MV Agusta and Kimco ended up in the creation of the Ampelio concept. This conceptual model could be described as a fusion between classic Italian scooter looks from the 1950s and the latest scooter technology. This two-wheeler is to be equipped with a battery electric powertrain with 4.1 kilowatts of power output and 7.2 kilowatt hours of battery capacity. There will be two batteries stored in the underseat compartment. Moreover, even with two batteries on board, there's still enough room for a flip-up helmet. Right now, the Impelio scooter is at the conceptual stage and its full specifications as well as future as a production model remain unclear. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time.